Warm greetings to the President and the officials of Ayama and to all fellow participants of CONCO Forum 2020. We are very grateful to be given the opportunity to participate in this year's Ayama Abacus Olympiad International Online Competition as well as the CONCO Forum 2020. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Irene and together with my fellow partners Honey and Munita, we are from Abacus Training Center by Sempoasip in Melbourne, Australia. Our journey started seven years ago in 2013. We met Mr. Taslim and Ms. Ko from Sempoasip, Indonesia and decided to establish Abacus Training Center by Sempoasip in Melbourne under their guidance. Abacus was not well known in our local communities back then as we were based in a newly developed residential area. However, as the numbers of the new residents grew, our Abacus school became more popular. One of the main reasons of this growth is due to the incoming residents from South Asian, Southeast Asian and Chinese migrants. Could the popularity of Abacus and mental arithmetic from those countries have been the main driver of the increase in the number of our Abacus students? We initially had five students in the home base center. Then as our numbers grow, we run our classes at two local community centers during after school hours and the weekend. At the start of 2020, we have more than 40 students gaining the benefit of learning Abacus method. Almost all of these students excelled mathematics subject at their school as they continue to be challenged in our Abacus classes. The local schools in our communities are aware of our abacus method and they supported our students by encouraging the use of mental arithmetic at school. Here are some of the photos of, from our end of year events. Here are the children working through the abacus questions and performing brain gym in our Abacus Competition Day last year. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Melbourne was in a lockdown since March 2020 up to today. Instead of face-to-face -face classes, we had to continue our learning via online classes. However, we are hopeful that as the numbers of local transmissions are currently low, we will be able to run our normal classes at the start of next year. COVID safe plans have been drawn to have the students socially distant with each other and regular classroom cleaning to be carried out. Lastly, as we come closer to the end of 2020, here's hoping that 2021 will be a brighter and better year. I would like to close this speech by wishing everyone the best of health and success in 2021. Thank you once again for the opportunity to participate in this event. Farewell for now. <laughs>